You're here with a closer look at tonight's debate. Nancy Cordes. Nancy, good morning. Good morning. Xenophobic? Sick? You know, the one person who you can count on to be almost as blunt as Donald Trump <laughs> is Joe Biden. Uh, but it's not just Biden. You're starting to hear from Republicans a much blunter message about him as well. Yesterday, you heard Louisiana Governor Bobby Jindal call Trump a madman. You saw that a Club for Growth ad where they said he's basically playing Republicans for chumps. The Republican senators I talked to are increasingly concerned that he will be the party's nominee. And so they're going to be going after him much more aggressively. You can do that aggressively in an ad or in a speech. But what about when you're on the same stage? with him because as he Trump says when I'm hit I hit back hard it's a risky maneuver a lot of candidates have discovered that but there's a lot of candidates who need any attention they yes. can get at that at this point you've seen Jeb Bush really slide in our poll Scott Walker has slid from 10 percent to 2 percent so they need to do something to get back on equal footing with him I mean I think everybody's trying to figure out how do I make a moment I know a lot of people are going to be watching tonight with a bo with a bowl of popcorn so what do you think about Carly Fiorina? She's on the stage, the mm -hmm. only woman on the stage. What difference will that make? What does that add to the dialogue? Tonight? Well, you know, last time she was actually the one who landed the best yes. zinger against Trump, but she was also the one who was the most specific about her plans. That's really why she stood out uh, in that happy hour debate in the first place. That's a reason that she's on the main stage. And so I think that's what she's going to do again tonight. She's going to say, I'm a non-politician, but unlike some of the other non-politicians on the stage, I've thought a lot about these problems. I have serious solutions. I don't think she's going to be looking for some prolonged uh, back and forth with Trump or anyone else. Let's talk about the new CBS News New York Times poll that shows that Hillary Clinton's lead over Bernie Sanders has been cut in half. Inside those numbers, where is she having the most trouble? Uh, I think Bernie Sanders has gained traction over the past month as Democrats increasingly consider him a viable candidate. You know, for a long time, it was sort of Hillary Clinton and nobody else, yeah. uh, a couple other guys at one or two percent, that probably wasn't sustainable. People like to see a race. So he has risen by 10 points, and that's eating into her lead. But it's still a 20-point lead. That's something any Republican on that stage tonight would kill for. Well said, Nancy. Good to see you. Good we'll to be see watching you, too. tonight.